morning, everybody. Uh, we'll just get started. We'll just give a couple of more minutes for people to log on and then we'll get started shortly. Morning, everyone. I guess we'll get started um, and we'll let people join in as, as they log in. Um, my name is Pinky Advani and I'm the Senior Business Development Manager at Arlington Transportation Partners. I'd like to thank everybody for joining us in today's webinar, Commuter Benefits 101, Administration Options, Updates and Resources. We have a very informational and backed agenda planned for, for you today. Um, but before we get started, just a few housekeeping uh, housekeeping uh, notes before uh, we get started. Uh, all the participants will be placed on mute. While we would love to see you, it is not mandatory to have your camera on. So that's optional. Should you choose to keep your camera on, that's great. Or you can uh, you can keep it off. This webinar is being recorded and will be shared with all the attendees. Uh, additionally, the slides are also going to be available uh, for downloading. Uh, and lastly, uh, there will be time for question and answers at the end of the uh, webinar, but you can also post them in the chat box and we'll make sure that we uh, get to all of them at the end. So all your questions for ATP or the presenters, feel free to put it in the chat box. So let's get started. Next slide. So here's a quick overview of what we'll be discussing today. We will be, uh, we, as I said, we have a packed and informational webinar for you. So we'll start with uh, just introducing you to who ATP is, who Arlington, who is Arlington Transportation Partners. Then we will uh, have a brief introduction of the Sorry. employer services team, uh, followed by, you know, commuter benefits. Then we'll talk about everything about commuter benefits, introduction, the options, uh, ben benefit options available, advantages of offering the benefit, what expenses are eligible and the cover in commuter benefits. Uh, and then we are talking about the administration options, uh, the two platforms that are available for, uh, for your company. Uh, and then which we'll have our guest speakers, Al Watson from WMATA and Alex from Health Equity, which is formerly known as uh, WageWork. Most people are familiar with Wage works, uh, but it is now health equity. They both will be sharing information about their administration platform. Uh, after that, we will be sharing some information about the upcoming yellow and blue line construction project. Um, and then we'll be ending with resources available to your organization through ATP. All these uh, complementary resources that are available uh, for you to uh, enhance and implement uh, commuter benefits. And then, like I uh, mentioned towards the end, we'll 
be answering any questions that you may have, whether it's for ATP or our guest speakers. Next slide. So let's get started with who is ATP? So just a little bit information about us, Arlington Transportation Partners is a program of Arlington County Commuter Services under Arlington's Department of Environmental Services that provides free transportation consulting to businesses in Arlington County, focusing on telework, biking, walking, carpooling, van pooling, uh, the, the whole package. Uh, so we have over 20 years of experience and we've worked with 1200 plus local businesses in Arlington um, helped, you know, collectively helped companies implement 3,000 plus uh, commuter programs. That includes transit benefit implementation enhancement, telework, uh, hybrid work schedules, uh, all that. So in doing this, we are removing cars off the road, which decreases traffic con congestion, improves air quality, and in turn, employees' health increases Arling, uh, health increases. Uh, so this is pretty much what ATP is. Um, as I mentioned, they are collectively, all these programs have helped to remove 21,000 plus cars from the road, uh, resulting in lower pollution and congestion level and improved employee health. Next slide. It's a little bit about our team. So, this is our, our employer services team. Uh, Katie, my colleague, who's also gonna be my co-presenter for today's webinar. Katie and I work with all employers in Arlington. Uh, so the map just highlights our different territories because we have different uh, portfolios. I specifically work with employers in Clarendon, Virginia Square and Boston. And then I also have the pleasure to work with employers in South Arlington but only those empl employers whose employee count is 200 and, and less. Uh, so together, Katie and myself cover whole of Arlington. And at this point, I would like uh, Katie to introduce herself. Hi, everyone. Uh, thanks for joining us today. I'm looking forward to talking about commuter benefits and answering any questions that you may have. So I'll just kind of reiterate what Pinky said. If you have any questions throughout the webinar, don't wait to ask them at the end. Just put them in the chat and we will make sure to answer them. Um, as Pinky said, I am also um, on the ATP employer service business development team um, and I am a business development manager for companies who have workplaces in Roslyn and courthouse area. I'm also recently expanded my portfolio to work with clients in South Arlington with 200 employees or more. Um, if you're never, if you're ever not sure who to reach out to, just reach out to one of us. We work closely together and we'll get you to the right person. And I'll pass it back off to Pinky to go over commuter benefits, introductions and benefit options. Thank you, Katie. So let's let's dive into commuter benefits now. So commuter commuter benefits program was just a little bit of fact was established by and is regulated under the section 122F of the IRS tax, tax code. So the federal law allows employees to allocate pre-tax income to use for transit, van pool costs, or parking fees. Um, and commuter benefits uh, are like the three three different options for implementing a commuter benefits. Uh, so depending on, you know, how, you know, on your company, like how you want to decide their three options. So we have the pre-tax benefit, the direct benefit, and the combination benefit. So under the pre-tax benefit, when an, em an employee can have monthly cost of their commute deducted from pay before taxes. Uh, so this allows employees to have the option. So so you're not, the employee is not taxed on, on that amount. Uh, and the current IRS limit is 280 per month. So each employee can allocate up to 280 per month towards commuting expenses. Um, and then, so that's your pre-tax option. Uh, the other option is an uh, employer can offer any amount of a transit subsidy. So it can be 100, it can be 50, depending on you know, your, your budget, uh, 
you know, you can allocate an X amount to all employees uh, for using uh, public transportation, uh, you know, so that to cover, you know, 150, whatever the cost may be. Um, and then we have a, a third option, which is called the combination benefit, in which the employer provides a combination of the direct and pre-tax pre uh, to help the employee to pay for its commute. So you could set up a pre-tax benefit. And then again, as I mentioned, the 280 is the current allowable limit for each employee uh, for commuting. So you can over and above that, you could be giving like $50, $100 towards commuting. And uh, we can, you know, we can share some more information about this. ATP has uh, a flyer which talks, gives you more details about the different benefit options and how to set up, uh, which Katie will be touching on a little bit later during the presentation. But I just wanted to share information about the three different options you have between the pre-tax. So pre-tax, essentially, the, you as an employer are not put contributing any money. It's just the money, um, you know, an employee is contributing on a pre-tax basis, so they're not taxed on that. Um, direct benefit would be you are giving a transit subsidy. Combination is a combination of the above two. Um, and we get into more details about, um, you know, the eligible expenses and everything in the next few slides. Next slide. So the eligible expenses, now that you decided that you want to offer commuter benefits, you know, either it's a pre-tax, direct, a combination, you'd like to know that, so what do these benefits cover? Like what commuting modes do these cover? So in the DC metro region, uh, the commuter benefits, uh, you know, the following, the list of all the commute options are covered under the commuter benefits. So you can use it towards metro rail, uh, you can use towards local, regional, and commuter buses. So that would include your metro bus. It will be the ART bus, the Arlington Regional Transit, the green bus that moves all around Arlington, uh, Omni Ride, Fairfax Connector. Uh, in addition, you can also use the commuter benefits towards Virginia Rail Express, VRE, the MARF train. It is also you can also use it towards van pooling. Uh, you know, and also shared lift and Uber rides. So your Uber pool and shared lift rides. In addition uh, to all this, you can also use your commuter benefits for using at, uh, towards parking at any of the Metro rail station. So if you have an employee who is, uh, chooses to drive to say Reston, and then from Reston, they decide to park at the Metro station there, uh, or East Falls Church and come into Arlington, Parking at any of the metro uh, rail stations is covered under uh, commuter benefits. Now, if they park on the street, that cannot be used. But anyway, if it's a if it's the parking lot managed by Metro Rail uh, by Wamada, then you can use towards that. Um, and then while we are talking about VRE, I also wanted to highlight that September uh, VRE is offering free rides. So if you have uh, employees who are commuting by VRE. Uh, at something, some information to share to them is like uh, VRE is September is uh, rail free. So take advantage of that. If someone is on the fence of trying public transportation, I think now is a good time. Uh, next slide. So we spoke a lot about, you know, the what commuter benefits are what the options are, eligible expenses. So why offer a commuter benefit? So there are several uh, reasons why you, your company should be offering commuter benefit. Uh, like it definitely saves money on payroll taxes and salary negotiation. So employers can save uh, money on FICA taxes, payroll taxes, uh, you know, by offering commuter, uh, by offering a pre-tax transit benefit. Uh, you can additionally also reduce the parking demand and costs. So if more people ride public transportation, you do not need that much of parking space in your office building. Uh, so that frees, you know, that lowers your cost. And, you know, you can uh, be really saving money on, on parking costs and use that money for some other enhancements or other programs that you may want for in your, in your organization. 
uh, then it also enhances employee recruitment, retention, and satisfaction. Because today's employees seek a workplace that offers uh, robust, commu robust commuter benefits that include everything. Like you want it to include telework, uh, hybrid workplace policies, uh, as well as commuter benefits. Uh, so definitely by offering the commuter benefits, uh, by offering transit benefits, you are, it will definitely help you boost your retention and recruitment rate. And lastly, it supports a workplace uh, supports workplace equity and sustainability initiative. So, by offering a commuter a commuter benefit, demonstrates the extra steps that your company has taken to promoting a healthy lifestyle that goes above and beyond your typical benefits package. So, when people ride public transportation, they are, there's less stress as compared to when you're driving alone in the car because when you're right when you're Riding on that train or the bus, you know, you can really sit back, relax, listen to a podcast, read a book, you know, your stress level is much high, much less as compared to sitting on the wheel and being stuck in traffic. Uh, so these are just some of the advantages of why you should be offering commuter benefits. Next slide. And now I'm gonna pass it on to my co-presenter and colleague, uh, Katie Thompson who will share more information about the administration options. Thank you, Pinky. Um, now that we've provided an introduction to commuter benefits, the different commute modes and options that apply for the, these benefits um, and why you should do it, um, you know, the benefits that you as an employer will, will receive, we wanted to provide you with all of the information, including which administrative platform will be best for your organization to use. WMATA Smart Benefits is free to companies and is best used for organizations that have staff members to manage the program on Smart Benefits, as well as employees can um, also manage their own benefits. Of course, you will always have support from the Smart Benefits representatives, so you're never alone, and us as well. Um, health equity, formerly known as wage works, as we've touched on, um, works best with companies who have worked sites outside of the DMV area, and they will also help to manage your commuter benefit program and packages. But for the best information, I will step aside and let Al and Alex talk about their programs. Al, with Smart Benefits, I'll let you um, take it away. All right. Thank you, Katie, and good morning to everyone. I am a Smart Benefits Administrator for the Smart Benefits Program for Employers, Account Representative, I should say. So I'll get right to it. Next slide, please. What is Smart Benefits? Smart Benefits, basically in a sentence, is a simple fee-free way for employers to allow employees to commute tax-free. I want to emphasize the free. It doesn't cost employers any monies to set up and manage and to operate ongoing a smart benefits program. Employers may offer smart benefits as Pinky mentioned earlier, as a direct employee paid benefit to the employees paid for by the company, a pre-tax benefit paid for by the employee, or they can do a combination of the first two, some paid for by the company, some paid for by the employee. The monthly max, as Pinky pointed out, for whether you're talking transit or parking is $280 per month. Next slide. How does Smart Benefits work? Your monthly Smart Benefit order is automatically sent, one, to a registered Smart Chip card, which means that each person that's gonna participate <clears throat> must have a registered Smart Chip card in their name in their name, their address, city, state, zip code. And most people already have a smart chip card. We have millions of smart chip cards out in circulation right now. If they don't have a smart chip card, it's easy to get one. They can simply go to any Metro rail station to a vending machine and purchase a smart chip card. They can go to our Metro website and they can purchase a card. Even some CVS and, and giant food store sell smart chip cards as well as some commuter stores right there in Arlington <clears throat> sells the smart chip cards. Each employee's smart chip card account to purchase passes for any system that accepts the smart chip card. 
What this means is employees can receive SMART benefits, designate their SMART benefits, go to their SMART trip account. They can then use those benefits to purchase, for instance, an unlimited monthly pass for trips on Metro Rail. They can use their SMART trip benefits or SMART benefits to purchase weekly passes uh, for or monthly passes for Dash in Alexandria or for Art in Arlington uh, for other uh, systems. Third party transit providers selected by each employee to ride on MARC or VRE, which was just mentioned, those are long distance commuter trains. They could use it for van pools and much more, such as long distance commuter buses. They could use it for Metro Access. Metro Access is a paratransit. A uh, system that uh, picks up people that are disabled and takes them to work and then brings those individuals back home. Employees must tap their smart chip card to a smart chip target to claim or access the portion of their benefits that have been sent to their card. Now, for those employees that ride Metro Rail or bus, they must tap their card in order to access their benefits. If they're using a third party administrator to allocate their benefits, for MARC, VRE, for van pools, for Metro Access, and so forth. They don't have to tap their card. They set up a passenger allocation account to send their monies directly to the provider in exchange for a pass that is sent to them, or they can pick up if they're getting it from a commuter store. Next slide. Getting started with SMART benefits. To prepare first, you want to identify your employees' transit and metro rail parking needs. You want to survey employees, determine the interest level, how many people would be interested in participating in the SMART Benefit Program. And you can survey your employees. If you need a survey form, I have a sample form I'd be happy to share with you. Consider how you will treat the unused benefits that the employees receive. You can either set those up as rollover and what rollover means if they receive, I'll say example, $100 and they use 75, what happens to the, the um, unused $25 on that smart chip card? Do you want those funds to roll over to the next month or non rollover is just the opposite of rollover, which means if they have 100, they use 75, the 25 they don't use can be designated as non rollover, which means the money that's not used comes off the card and it comes back to the company's smart benefit account as a credit. The way most companies decide to do rollover versus non-rollover is based on who's paying for the benefit. If it's an employee paid pre-tax benefit, it's the employee's monies, the employer would designate those funds to be rollover. If it's a employer paid benefit tax-free, then the company wants its money back and they would choose the non-rollover options. Most private sector companies do do the pre-tax option and choose the rollover options. Next, you want to consider the order payment method. The way you pay us at Metro for the benefits the employees receive is either ACH, and we have two types of ACH. We have customer originated, where you can send your payment to us, much like a wire transfer, much cheaper. Or you can do a moderate originated, where you provide us your banking information. We can retrieve or withdraw the money from your bank or we take credit card. You can use all major credit cards, Visa, MasterCard, Discover, or American Express. Next, you want to open up a smart benefits account by going to the website that's there. You would put in your basic uh, company information, company address, city, state, zip code, point of contact. Select my name, Al Watson, as your smart benefits account representative. So you'll have someone that'll work with you, not just in the beginning, but ongoing as you have your account open. You wanna collect the registered smart chip card numbers for your employees. You wanna get their serial numbers, their name, and the amount they want for a transit benefit or a transit benefit and a parking benefit if their parking's a part of their commute. Configure your smart benefits and assign the monthly benefits between the first through the 21st of any month. <clears throat> timing, the way Smart Benefits works is it's based on time sensitive, it's, it's deadline driven. Orders placed automatically on the 21st at 1159 p.m. Eastern Standard Time will receive benefits on the first of the next month. 
payments are due the next bullet item on the first business day after the 21st, which is usually the 22nd. Benefits are available on the first of the upcoming month. For example, in this month of August, even though Sunday was the 21st, everyone that had their order in by the 21st of August, payment is due on the 22nd, which was yesterday. Benefits low on the first of next month. Next slide. <coughs> Excuse me. Anatomy of a smart chip card, pre-tax funds. This is a graphic showing inside the smart chip card. <coughs> It shows three separate purses. We have transit, parking. Those are the restricted, which are the pre-tax funds or tax-free fund, tax -free funds that go to the smart chip card. And the third purse is for personal stored value. Next slide. <coughs> Just a few tips that can be used with smart benefits. Say with the unlimited ride, Metro came out mm, a few years ago with an unlimited monthly pass <clears throat> that's formerly known as Select Pass, where employees can purchase a pass for the entire month using their smart benefits for unlimited rides for the entire month. And the price range goes from $2 a, a trip one way all the way up to $6 one way. So example, in the first bullet item, it shows that if an employee purchased a monthly pass for $2, as long as your trips do not exceed $2 one way, you'll save over the course of the month, $84. If your trips are $6, that's the most you're gonna pay. If you come from the end of the line to go anywhere within the Metro Rail system, you're not gonna pay more than $6. But if you buy a monthly pass, you'll save $216 per month. And you can ride the Metro as much as you want for the entire month. You can get on a ride and ride as long as your trips don't exceed those, those price points, then you can save those amounts of money that you see there. The smart benefits does allow employees who do exceed the $2, not the six, but the $2 and beyond up to six, if you exceed that, you can use money in your transit or personal stored value to pay the difference. And what I mean by that is, if you ride the Metro, you have a transit pass and your trip costs you $2.25, the pass will cover $2. The 25 cents will come from your other transit benefits if you have them. If not, it will come from your stored value. And we do have a flyer that explains all of this, if that's, uh, if someone would like that information. Next slide. Smart Benefits Anytime is a feature that's been around for a long time. Smart Benefits Anytime allows employers to purchase uh, reserve money basically to have in their account to provide employees benefits any time of the month to be flexible to work around those deadlines that I was just mentioning between the 1st and 21st. You can provide a benefit for an employee, even if they've come in after the order deadline. If you have any time benefits, today is the 23rd. If you added employee in today, the start date would be October 1st, 2022. But you can designate monies from your anytime account to that employee's card for today. And the money would load to that employee's card for the remainder of this month. And then you could also designate monies for next month in uh, September. And then the regular smart benefits will start on October 1st. And it's simple to order and set up. You can order any amount in whole dollar increments from $1 up to $10 million. And you have to place that order by the 21st, which will be combined with your regular smart benefits. And once you place your order, those anytime funds that you ordered will be available to use on the first day of the, of the next month. If I ordered those funds in August by the 21st, on the 1st of September, my anytime funds are there. I can then go into my account and I can assign those monies out as rollover or as non-rollover to my employee's smart chip card. Or I can do it even as parking. And normally when you do that, it usually takes one day to load to the employee's smart chip card. Next slide. Smart benefits. Employer web app. 
if you forget everything I say or you don't know anything, once you get your account set up, we do have a help button. When you click on help, we have a 22 or 25 page document. We call it a Smart Benefits User Guide that goes through all the applications and Smart Benefits, how to set up benefit categories, how to add employees, how to make changes, how to uh, use a self-service feature, how to uh, change benefits from one card to the other, how to review the various reports, how to view the current order. So there's a lot of good uh, reference material under the help button that employers can use, as well as they can refer back to their assigned account rep. Next slide. We are here to help. We have a variety of uh, online services you can go to for support through our FAQs, through customer support. You could also have, we also have training videos where we actually walk you through how to create the various categories, how to transfer money from one card to the other. If that fails, we do have Smart Trip Custom Service as a call center for employers, 202-962-1326. When you call, you want to have your smart benefits customer ID ready. For employees, employees can call our Smart Trip customer service at 888 Smart Trip or 888 762 7874. Or you can email them at smarttrip at womata.com and you see the hours there listed 7 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Fridays, Eastern Standard Time. Once an account is set up for you, you'll be assigned an account rep like myself, and you always can reach me at alwatchnetwomada.com or my phone number is listed there at 202-962-2793. Next slide, I believe that's it. It is, I wanna thank you all for your time. I wanna thank Pinky and for Katie for inviting me to be a part of this webinar. Thank you, Al, um, and great introduction into Smart Benefits. Um, and, you know, as Al said, if you do forget or you want to review this information again, we are also recording this webinar and we'll share it with those who are in attendance. You can also ask Pinky or myself directly for, um, you know, a file or the link to YouTube is where we usually put it and our emails will be at the end of the webinar. But right now I will turn it over to Alex to introduce us to Health Equities Commuter Benefits Platform. Thanks so much, Katie and, and Pinky, for again, for, for having me to here today to represent Health Equity. And thanks everyone for taking time out of your busy schedules to, to join us. Um, Health Equity is a the leading com provider of commuter benefits, not just in in you know the D.C. metro area, but the nationwide provider. So we wanted to give a real good option today, as Al talked about talking you know for smart benefits when you're in the Arlington and D.C. metro area. If you have employees that are outside of that area, you may have multiple locations throughout the country, and you need you know a nationwide provider, um, or you need a service that may cover more than just you know metro and, and smart trip and VRE, and you're looking at Amtrak and Dylan's bus and all these other services. You know, health equity would be uh, you know a good option for you to take a look at. Um, Katie, next slide, please. So a little bit about who we are. Um, we've been doing commuter benefits for close to 30 years since the tax code came out, Section 132F, back in, in the 80s. Um, we have over 11,000 commuter clients and, and currently serve about a little over a million commuters on a monthly basis. That Those are people that we're helping get to and from work. Um, you know, Certainly during the pandemic, right, commuters and mass transit dropped exponentially across the country as, as people were in you know hybrid status work from home um, but numbers are steadily coming back to um, uh, back up to normal today we provide more than 13 million commuter products and, and we fulfill them annually whether that's either a debit card that can be used at ticket vending machines or ticket windows passes uh, direct loads to smart cars like smart trip um, or if it's in other areas you know there's smart cars throughout the country in, in san francisco and chicago and boston um, we can do uh, parking we can do direct payments to parking. Um, Health Equity maintains direct relationships with transit operators, such as, as WMATA and, and Smart Trip there. Um, and we have relationships with more than 660 transit authorities nationwide. 
So um, I can assure you that, you know, we have commuters in all 50 states, including, you know, Hawaii, and they have the bus out there. That's their transit operator. It's called the bus, actually. Uh, and we have commuters that, that take it out there. So um, if you do have any employees out there and they need someone to go to an employee meeting, you know, I volunteer. I'll certainly uh, go ahead and volunteer for that employee meeting in Hawaii for you. Um, and our parking catalog as well is very robust. Um, about 6,000 selectable locations within our catalog that we uh, provide direct relationships with those parking operators for either accepting our debit cards or having a direct payment to that facility for either monthly parking uh, and in some places even daily parking. So a lot of experience in the commuter benefits space. Uh, Katie, next slide there. Um, Oh, I guess I'm missing the, the circle there. So in between those those lines of text, there should be um, uh, kind of chevron circles going around. But really, think of the health equity solution as a as a circular solution where we have direct relationships with those parking operators. We own our own platform, so we have our own proprietary administrative platform for managing eligibility, for managing uh, enrollments. Um, uh, so members can enroll directly online with health equity. We have mobile uh, technologies as well; they can enroll on their smartphone. We also have um, a contactless cards and debit cards. So in markets like uh, New York, where they just rolled out contactless readers, our debit cards have the contactless chip payments in there. Um, we also have direct participant customer service, and we are open 24-7. So if a member has a question on health equity about their community benefits, uh, they can call 24-7, uh, 365, all uh, US-based onshore support. Uh, and again, our catalog is, is proprietary there with all the different transit operators that we have uh, in there today. Next slide, please. So some of the products that we offer, um, I talked about our debit card, and our debit card offers a lot of flexibility. It can be used for both transit and parking. Um, it can be used for the Uber pool and, and Lyft shared as those services come back online, uh, Spot Hero as well. Um, but it offers a lot of flexibility, especially when many employers are in a, a hybrid type and work environment now with returning to office. And a lot of companies may only have people being required to come in, you know, five days a month and, and or 10 days a month. You know, members can put that funds on their card and then use it as they need to. They might not be buying monthly passes like they used to. They want to buy, you know, a 10 trip ticket here. They just want to pay for their daily uh, commute. They drive in some days. So that's that's one option that offers a lot of flexibility. Um, certainly smart cards where we load uh, uh, contributions directly onto transit agency smart cards such as Smart Trip, um, you know, in, in the DC metro area. Um, we've worked very closely with Lamada for, you know, many years since Smart Trip came out. I think, you know, we've been partnered with with uh, with with the team at, at Wamada. Um, we also do buy my pass and can do home delivery of passes so we can mail, you know, someone a, a mark pass, a VRE pass, a pass for Dylan's bus services or wherever that pass happens to be throughout the country. Uh, we can do that. We do have uh, reimbursement for parking only. There is no cash reimbursement for uh, transit, but only for parking. So if members do have to pay out of pocket, it's say a cash lot, uh, they can request reimbursement and we will re uh, uh, reimburse them with check or direct deposit. And we also feature uh, direct payments to the provider. Uh, this works really well for parking garages where you have a monthly spot uh, and you want to have us pay the parking provider directly so that your employer deducts your funds from your payroll. That flows over to Health Equity. And then we make that payment on, to the parking provider on your behalf, which is very easy. Um, we can also do that for in some instances with transit operators uh, where there's monthly mail and ride tickets, such as in New York. Uh, that works really well. Um, we can also do that with some employer paid parking if, if if parking spots are owned or leased by the employer uh, and you're providing that benefit to your employees, we can do that employer controlled parking as well as with van pools. So, um, you know, there are uh, five different methods or, or vehicles for the tax free dollar that uh, health equity does provide uh, there. And certainly that can be done, you know, pre tax or subsidies as we've covered uh, previously today. We also have a lot of other flexible arrangements. About a year and a half ago, Health Equity acquired a company called Loom. Uh, and Loom does some very flexible um, uh, uh, items around commuting in terms of carpooling and ride match and a guaranteed ride home. Now, this, these services are really for um, some of the larger clients, typically around 1,000 participants at a minimum uh, to get into uh, you know, some of the, the functionality that they can provide. But it's really great, and, and especially if you were, say, like a large uh, hospital system that had to manage, you know, uh, 
complex parking arrangements there at the, at the group, or um, you manage multiple real estate locations with facilities throughout the country. Um, it does a, a really good job. And then the carpool and van pool matching was really um, key during the pandemic where you know employers were just trying to match who lived in an area that who could, hey, all get together and, and put on a map and geo map. Here's who can get on. Uh, we can all meet together and we can drive you know, to the train station. We can come into the office there. So offered a lot of flexibility for people there, uh, and that is the the Loom tool through Health Equity. Uh, and if you're in a situation where you have you know numbers of employees there and you want to get more information, certainly we can connect uh, more on that because there's a lot of cool things that uh, that the Loom solution provides uh, at Health Equity in addition to our normal commuter benefit uh, solution. So it really bolts onto it, if you will. Next slide. A couple of reasons to, to outsource commuter benefits. I know a lot of companies today are, are doing things in-house um, and it really makes sense to, to, to offload this benefit. HR professionals, benefits professionals are already overburdened with so much today, uh, increasing costs of healthcare, uh, labor reductions, you know, trying to get uh, people to come to work and retain recruitment and retention of, 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 of talent here. Um, Outsourcing your program to a provider like Health Equity really ensures that you have a compliant program, right? So we're not going to let any products go into the marketplace that are out of compliance. We're going to ensure that uh, all members are staying within the guidelines of Section 132F and not commingling their, their transit and partner funds. Um, we're going to provide a, a national commuter benefits program. So certainly if you're in Arlington there, but you have employees in Chicago and San Francisco and Atlanta and uh, New Jersey, you know, we can support them, uh, especially those states now that have transit benefit laws on the books and ordinances, right? We know DC has one certainly, um, but the entire state of New Jersey has one. Seattle has one. There's about 10 or 12 in San Francisco Bay Area, right? If, um, so there's a lot going on there. If you have employees affected, you may need a national commuter benefits provider. We also have very easy to use uh, employer tools, employer dashboards. So you're, you can have reporting uh, within our portal. You can see uh, real-time activity reports. We have very easy funding method methodologies um, and you have visibility to what's going on there. And we also have robust file capabilities. So if you're a large organization, you wanna send data to us from say your HRIS or payroll provider, ADP, UKG, Workday, you know, we can receive all that data from you. Um, and we are also a total solution provider uh, in in addition to commuter, we certainly do FSAs and HSAs and, and uh, HRA benefits there. And again, you know, we provide 24-7 U.S.-based support, which we know in some industries that are still working 24-7, you know, our hospitals, our manufacturers, our first responders, right, um, hospitality, hotels, right, the, they, the, a nine to five hour doesn't always work for everyone. So being able to provide support there on a 24-7 basis is a, is a great reason to, uh, to outsource your service. Thanks. And with closing there, certainly if you have questions on health equity right today, we can put them through the chat. Um, you know, I did provide all contact information to Katie and Pinky in advance. So when the slide deck does go out, uh, we'll be happy to provide them. Um, I don't know if we have any questions in the, in the uh, chat yet, but certainly if there are any, certainly happy to address them uh, at the end of the presentation. So thank you very much, Katie and Pinky. I'm gonna turn it back over to, uh, I believe Katie or Al for the update on the, um, uh, the construction. Uh, thank you, Alex. Yeah, um, and Al both for providing those introductions into your platforms. I hope this has helped everyone in understanding the options that they have. I've included both of the emails for Al and Alex in the chat, um, but we will also follow up with any, um, you know, in the email afterwards with their contact information as well. So you have it directly on there. Um, and before we go over the upcoming construction on the yellow and blue line, we wanted to conduct a quick poll, kind of to see where everyone was in terms of returning to the office and um, um, kind of your, you know, also to lift us up a little bit, get us back, kind of snap a little hand in our faces. I know I need that. Maybe another cup of coffee. But the question, the poll has popped up. What is your company's return to office status? So choose one if possible, full-time remote, full-time in office, hybrid, um, hybrid with a plan to increase time in office soon, and unsure or still in planning. Um, we've heard a lot from the region about hybrid being a really high focus during summer, but with the plan and intention and in coming back to the office soon um, when fall comes around. So maybe that's one, um, you know, one that your organization is looking into. Um, there's no wrong answer. This is kind of just to see 
where everyone is. So I'll give it a bit longer. Great question there, Katie. Certainly a very hot topic of conversation with, with clients and brokers and consultants today is, is what's going on with, with everybody's office as it affects commuter benefits. So definitely a great question you've posed there and hopefully we, uh, we can see some, some interesting responses. Absolutely. Well, also credit where credit's due. Alex, thank you for giving us the suggestion. <laughs> so, um, you know, I'm not going to take that from you. No, so. should ta- you should have taken it, Katie. You should have taken it. <laughs> Oh, absolutely not. Um, but I think we we have it. So I'm going to end this poll. And it looks like a pretty good split. Um, I've shared the results. So I'll share that for a little bit. We can see that around. Nice and um, interesting. I know that we're kind of doing a hybrid um, internally as well. So um, now we'll go on to the yellow and um, blue line construction project. Um, So starting on September 10th, Metro will begin work to connect the future Potomac Yard Station with the main line system and to rehabilitate the yellow line tunnel and bridge between Pentagon and La Ifant Station or La Ifant Plaza Station. Um, Passengers returning to Metro Rail can look forward to the top of of the line integration at the Potomac Yard Station, miles of upgraded communication cables used by multiple jurisdictions, and and improved structural integrity of the Yellow Line Tunnel and Bridge. So um, it is a big project. It goes from, the total project will go from September this year to May of 2023, but it is being split into two phases. Um, The first phase will be the most disruptive, but only lasts a little more than a month, as you can see from September 10th to October 22nd. Um, Six stations south of the Ronald Reagan National Airport Metro will be closed, both yellow and blue, and you can see that in this image here. So we got Braddock Road, King Street, Old Town, Eisenhower, Huntington, um, Van Dorn, and Franconia Springfield. Now, with all this disruption, there is also a lot of work that the Regional Transportation Network has been putting in place to make sure that those that are disrupted um, will be, will have supportive um, shuttles. So you can see kind of an overview over here. All of these shuttles will be free um, from, um, and after October 22nd, these stations will open back up. However, the yellow line will continue to be closed. So the yellow line will be supported by the blue line and the green line. So blue line will obviously stay focused um, kind of in Arlington and the green line will support those in the DC, Maryland area. Um, And again, these DC shuttles weekday rush hour only will continue. These will be the only ones that will continue for phase two. And there are, as I mentioned, a robust travel alternatives. Um, You can either see that on the WMATA project page, which I will create a hyperlink before we send this presentation out to everyone. So you can easily find that. But we also have great information, easy to read on our website. And I'll include a link in that as well. um, And possibly even put it up on the chat if I can find it really quickly for y'all. Um, which I do because the notepads app is really helpful. So that is the um, what we've created to kind of help provide all the information. If you ever need um, direct support, you can connect with your ATP rep. Um, and again, if you're not sure, you can just reach out to one or both of us, Pinky and myself, and we can help you with finding your alternative options via commute planners or just working with you directly to find what will work best for you. Um, so that I kept that short, but we are also offering um, um, webinars directly to employees for those who might be interested in providing that to their staff. Um, Other customized resources. So um, as Alex mentioned, a lot of the HR teams are overworked. So working with ATP, with myself or Pinky in the employer team, our multifamily residential team, our commercial and hotel team, um, we will all help you to reduce the time and stress on your HR, facility teams, and sustainability teams. 
With our knowledge and expertise, you are allowing the experts to come in and help your organization. And because we work through Arlington County Commuter Services, all of our services are free to employers, hotels, residential and commercial buildings in Arlington County. We offer a wide range of services to help revamp HR policies and commuting benefits and hybrid work schedules, positions that are available for a hybrid or a remote work schedules, and those that are essential to, for the workspace. ATP will also help to keep you up to date on new policy requirements or update to the transit benefit amount that the IRS reviews yearly, as well as, as you, told, as you can tell from our previous slide, any updates to the regional benefits, or excuse me, regional transportation network. Um, when working with ATP Rep, we can provide you with policy samples, consultation on current policies, and conduct management training on team, for team leaders whose teams are operating in a hybrid workplace model. We also have provide guides and one-pagers, so if you're still in the gathering information phase, we have multiple guides and one-pagers to help you understand the basics, establish a plan, and how we um, at ATP can work with your organization. Our goal is to not only remove unnecessary vehicles off the road, but to make it easier for our clients to do so. We do this by taking tasks off of your plate, providing sample policies, as I mentioned, connecting individuals to regional benefits, hosting events to help your HR team and employees know their options, all without spending an exuberant amount of time and money. We also have many one-pagers, um, one on the commuter benefits to kind of summarize this webinar, as well as the yellow blue line shutdown. So if y'all are interested in that, please reach out to solutions at transportations.com. Pinky has put in um, that email in the chat as well. We can also um, help with <clears throat> capital bike share co corporate programs. This is one of the various regional programs that we help. We can help you with in understanding and joining. This program allows employers to cover a partial or full amount of capital bike share annual membership for their employees. With over 685 stations and growing, Capital Bike Share provides an easy and convenient and sustainable option to getting around the DMV. Um, working with us, we can help figure out which is the right amount for, for you, um, help you enroll, find the right pricing, and aid in program management. We also provide virtual and on-site events um, from pre-made promotion materials and coordination of events between employer and service providers. So some events that have taken place this year or are scheduled for some of our clients include um, as I mentioned, a webinar on the yellow blue line shut down to share information with their employees. Ice cream socials have actually been really popular this year, as well as bike events. And if your organization is interested in hosting a bike event and they work with us directly, we can help to cover some of the cost. ATP will also um, coordinate with the service providers, like those with bike events who, um, who offer mobile bike shop and mechanics for, to um, fix up your bikes or the companies who provide the ice cream social. Um, and we can help to spread that information through pr um, pre-made promotional materials and updates on the regional transit system. With all these resources available, um, ATP is really your one-stop shop for revamping your commuter benefit programs to match today's current trends and expectations, while also achieving leadership goals for productivity, efficiency, retention, and more importantly, happiness and health of your team members. And to really back up all of this, we do concentrate on survey and density plot maps to really provide you with the data necessary and understanding your employees' current expectations and needs. Um, so we can help design, administer, and evaluate the survey results. We will also provide a report and present you with the results um, with the solutions and actionable steps focusing on how to research your commuter benefit, you know, revamp it to really attract um, top talent or retain those that you're wanting to keep. Um, and all of this can be done with by ba balancing the expectations of employees with leadership goals of returning people to the office and keeping them safe. Um, and the density plot map will really help to understand where your team members are coming from and their preferred um, commuting options. 
So we now have a time for questions. And as the questions can, um, you know, you might be thinking about what questions you want to ask. I want to put in the um, link for our survey. Um, it's a short survey. It should take you less than five minutes. So I'll just kind of talk about this webinar, what we can do to improve um, the future webinars and any interested topics that you might have. So I'll pause here to see if anyone has questions um, for the chat. Seeing none, I will go ahead and put the thank you slide up and let Pinky close us out. Well, thank you everybody for attending today's webinar. Thank you to our guest speakers, Al and Alex, for sharing uh, information to our attendees about uh, the different platform options. I think that was really helpful to hear from both of you. So thank you for your time. Um, and at this point, I also wanted to just um, let everybody know that if you have any questions for later, that you might think of, feel free to send it to us at solutions at transpartners.com. Uh, we will be sending out a uh, thank you email and uh, our contact information to you shortly. Uh, so we look for, Katie and myself look forward to working with you in implementing commuter benefits programs to, uh, you know, to help your employees uh, find an easy commute. It, you know, we're not against cars, but we hope people uh, you know, switch to a car light lifestyle. Uh, and uh, we hope that between Katie, myself, and our guest speakers, Al and Alex, have inspired you to implement transit benefits. Uh, thank you, everybody. Thank you all for joining. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.